Om Shanti. Welcome to 11th of December's Gauri Blessing. How do we get the power to discern and then decide what to do? And that needs a lot of clarity in our mind because we can get confused by someone's jealousy, we can get confused by somebody's ego, somebody's hurtful behavior, somebody's uh, resentful behavior and we might get confused. And we might even have those kind of ego or jealous thoughts in our mind which doesn't allow us to take the right path or go on to the right path and make the right decision. So God says, may you discern every situation with a clear intellect. Now, intellect is something, it's a faculty of the soul which is making pictures. <clears throat> so when we make pictures in the mind, let's say you think about someone and you think loveful thoughts about that person, then you think of, okay, I'll be with this person, I'll be doing this, this action, right? I'll be kind, I'll be giving a gift, I'll be meeting them, going out for coffee, going out for dinner or other things. We think generally like that, right? When we are thinking of loveful thoughts towards a person or kind thoughts or meeting up a friend. And in the same direction or opposite direction, I mean, you could be thinking of hatred towards a person or jealousy towards a person. And you might think when I meet this person and you're playing a movie in your mind and that is the visual which you create. So that has taken up a lot of space in your memory. Intellect is the memory of the soul, the software. So God says you develop the power of discernment to the extent that your intellect is clear. Accordingly, you develop the power of discernment. How? That's what we're going to understand in this beautiful Vardhan. So, in the beginning, my father said, May you discern every situation with a clear intellect and make an accurate decision and become an embodiment of success. Accurate decision. And that depends upon to the extent that your intellect is clear. So, if you're having thoughts or visions of jealousy or fear or we're scared or we are feeling like taking revenge, then obviously our intellect is not clear. To the extent that your intellect is clear, accordingly, you develop the power of discernment. Instead of thinking too much, stay in remembrance of the One Father. What will happen? How will it happen? Who will do it? What will they do? And remain clear with the Father. That means have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the Creator, the Father. That this is what is going on in my mind. Father, help me to get rid of jealousy. Help me to get rid of ego or uh, help me to get rid of any kind of uh, disdainment towards these people so that my intellect is clear and I can focus on my path and follow my path. And you will easily be able to discern every situation and make an accurate decision then only we'll be having clarity in our mind as to what exactly is going on. Whatever the situation is at any time and whatever the mood is of those who come into contact or a relationship with you, we have to be very careful about what the mood is going on. Move along accordingly at that time. Discern the situation and then make a decision accordingly. So if suppose we are not supposed to say certain things at that point of time and we end up saying it, then the discernment power wasn't there. We have actually fueled even more the situation so sometimes we have to be careful right don't speak out those things be careful be quiet show it in action don't say it in words don't be revengeful don't be greedy don't be jealous so this is a great power which also make you into an embodiment of success success into what we are spreading power powerful thoughts pure thoughts and we are creating less of enemies we're creating more of people who are there with us how to do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti with this.